Bedtime Story Our Lady of Guadalupe Once upon a time, in a beautiful land called Mexico, there lived a kind and humble man named Juan Diego. He was a simple farmer who loved God with all his heart. Every day, Juan would walk miles to attend Mass and pray at the church. He lived a peaceful life, though his heart ached because many people around him did not know the love of God. One day, as Juan was walking to Mass, he suddenly heard the sweet sound of birds singing, more beautiful than he had ever heard before. Curious, he followed the sound until he reached the top of a hill called Tepiac. There, Juan was amazed to see a lady who looked like no one he had ever seen before. She was dressed in a robe as bright as the sun, with stars sparkling around her, and her face was kind and gentle. Juanito, my dear little son, she called softly. Juan was surprised that she knew his name, but her voice was so full of love that he was not afraid. I am the Blessed Virgin Mary, she said, the mother of the true God who gives life and sustains all things. One knelt down before her, overwhelmed with awe. Our Lady continued, I have a special message for you to deliver to the bishop. Tell him that I wish for a church to be built here on this hill, where I can show my love and compassion to all who seek me. One, feeling unworthy but determined to obey, hurried to the city and found the bishop. But when he told the bishop about the lady on the hill, the bishop wasn't sure if Juan was telling the truth. He asked Juan for a sign to prove that the message was from the Blessed Mother. Juan returned to Tepiac, where Our Lady appeared to him again. My dear Juanito, she said, I will give you a sign for the bishop. Go to the top of the hill and gather the flowers that you find there. Juan was puzzled, for it was December and flowers did not bloom in the cold winter. But he trusted Our Lady and climbed the hill. To his astonishment, he found beautiful roses growing, their fragrance filling the air. He carefully gathered them in his cloak and brought them to Our Lady. Take these roses to the bishop, she instructed. This will be the sign he asked for. Juan hurried back to the bishop, holding the roses close. When he opened his cloak to show the flowers, the bishop gasped. There, on Juan's cloak, was a miraculous image of Our Lady just as Juan had described, clothed in radiant light, with stars on her mantle, and her hands folded in prayer. The bishop knew then that Juan's message was true. He fell to his knees, thanking God for this miracle. The bishop built a church on Tepiac Hill, just as Our Lady had asked, and the miraculous image of Our Lady of Guadalupe became a source of great comfort and hope to all who saw it. Many people came to the church, and through the image, they came to know the love of God and the protection of Our Lady. Juan Diego spent the rest of his life sharing the story of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and her image remains a sign of love and faith to this day. Night Prayers As you close your eyes tonight, let us pray. Prayer to the Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, be a father to me now, and watch over me as you watched over him. Keep me safe from all harm and guide me in my dreams tonight. Amen. Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, 
sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Prayer for good sleep. Dear Lord, as I lay me down to sleep, I pray for peaceful rest. May my mind be free of worries and my heart be filled with your love. Protect me through the night and grant me sweet dreams. Amen. Good night. And may Our Lady of Guadalupe watch over you always.